Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about imine hydrolysis and, and show you the mechanism of that reaction. Uh, imines can be hydrolyzed in dilute aqueous acid, uh, and the products of those reactions are the carbonyl compound that the imine was formed from, and the amine that the imine was formed from. And because we're an acid, the amine actually probably forms as its ammonium cation with whatever counter ions present. And if you're trying to figure out what part uh, of the molecule came from the carbonyl group, well then uh, look no further than you know, the part that's doubly bonded to nitrogen. That's the part that's doubly bonded to uh, that's the part that will end up being doubly bonded to oxygen. Yeah. And you, this is a net substitution reaction, but it's done by an elimination or addition elimination pathway. Uh, and just like the hydrolysis of an acetal, this mechanism is completely the reverse. It goes through the same intermediates as the formation of the imine. Just, you know, we uh, have nucleophiles and leaving groups are in the opposite order. So first we have nucleophilic addition, right? The, the last step of imine formation is an E1 elimination. This uh, nucleophilic addition is the reverse of that process. So I don't know that I want it colored, so let's just redraw it. The imine is not uh, super electrophilic on its own, so we need to activate it for nucleophilic attack. That's why we have acid. In this case, since the solvent is water, uh, the proton transfer, the proton source is the hydronium cation. Now we have this protonated amine. Now it is ready for nucleophilic attack. Water is a weaker nucleophile, so it's, it wasn't going to do this uh, all on its own. It's possible that some other nucleophiles maybe would attack these things, and that's a topic for another day. And just like on the forward mechanism in that video I showed, all of the, the steps is equilibrium steps. I'm doing the same thing here uh, because all of these steps are reversible. What controls the, the uh, proportion of things at equilibrium is how much, whether you have excess water or whether you are removing water. Yeah. And again, since water is our solvent, water is our a better proton source uh, and a better proton acceptor than anything else. So we'll use water to grab that extra proton from the protonated hemiaminal. And now, here we go, Hemi hemiaminal. Can't win. There we go. That's how I want it to look. Okay. And once you get to the hemi now, hemi now, the second step is an E1 elimination. All right. The first step of imine formation is a nucleophilic addition. The opposite of that is an elimination reaction, where in acid we have weak nucleophiles, weak bases, poor leaving groups. So we're in E1 territory. We get proton transfer. Again, this is now happening to the nitrogen because it's ultimately the, the amino part of this molecule that's going to be a good leaving group. So now it's protonated. It has two, two hydrogens, one of them extra. And the next step, since this is an E1 elimination reaction, is loss of leaving group. So there we go. And we'll draw the carbocation intermediate. Uh, it's also worth noting that some people will sh will will show 
mechanisms like this, like a lone pair on the oxygen, helping that leaving group out. I think I'm going to draw it this way. Uh, and the only thing that it does is it gets to, to right, there are two different resonance contributors for this cation. Uh, the one on the bottom and the one on the top. Right, and whether or not you show the lone pair on the oxygen helping the leaving group off depends on get whether the one on the bottom or the one on the top. Now, uh, when it comes to taking that last extra proton away, we in fact have a better base out there, uh, and that's the amine that was just the leaving group. And so... This last step is really interesting. Uh, while I could draw equilibrium arrows, I'm going to not. Uh, I'm going to not draw equilibrium arrows because uh, the pKa difference here is much larger than it is in uh, the case where we're talking about alcohol nucleophiles and leaving groups. Uh, pKa of the protonated uh, ketone is somewhere on the order of minus three, and, and the pKa of the protonated amine is like nine to ten. Right, the pKa for the alcohol version, or right, alcohol protonated alcohols are like negative one pKa, so it's a much more equilibrium situation going on here. It means are basic, so this last step is almost like the I'll, I'll draw in the reverse arrow, but it is definitely favoring the carbonyl group. Okay, so here's the mechanism for amine hydrolysis. Pretty uh, just exactly the reverse of what uh, happened in the formation of an amine. Nucleophilic addition, E1 elimination. Thank you for watching.